So I just got done watching Disney's Marvel short, I Am Groot. And bro, I just basically wanna say what I thought of the film. I thought the film, or I thought the shorts, I should say, uh, I'm just gonna be breaking, I wanna say break them down, but basically give you like a review of what I think of them and try to break them down and leave out like key moments and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so with I Am Groot, um, it was actually pretty freaking good, I'd say. The first episode was okay. By the way, these are going to have spoiler warnings, by the way. So if you haven't seen I Am Groot, you should. Episodes are like three minutes long, but the end credits is like six minutes. So you're really stay watching them for like ten minutes of your time. Which is a typical average YouTube video, you feel me? It's it's pretty fun, definitely. You can definitely consider watching it. I'm definitely saying you guys should watch it. But yeah, basically, I just want to say... I am Groot. It was, it was okay. Some of the episodes I didn't really like, but the last one I really did like. That one was pretty freaking funny. Um, I laughed at that a lot, you know. But let me explain the first one. So the first one is basically like I am is basically Groot, you know, feeling jealous and stuff because they put a plant and he's like, I'm the only plant in this house, and he was eating cheese puffs too or cheese balls. I don't know what you call them. Some little canary that happened. So these robots came over, tried to clean them off and stuff, and when they left the room, Groot was like, you know, screw you, plant. So basically, what he ended up doing was he ended up just like <laughs> like stretching his arms to infinity to infinity and beyond almost like mr fantastic did Stretch the plant all that bull i found that pretty funny but or not funny but pretty satisfying i should say it was the plant was trying to was trying to replace Groot, so we all knew how that was gonna end but yeah it ends out episode one i think that happens in episode two is honestly i forget episode two i honestly i really didn't like episode two i don't know the order it goes i can just name off key parts i did like in the third one how we grew all those like funny hair because he was taking a bath he put mud in his hair and that mud caused the plants to grow and go out of control he literally came out looking like Doug Doug days you know the dog with all the fur and stuff it was pretty cute not gonna lie I did like the ending though how the bird was giving him or the bird of the animal was giving him shit being a prick like usual animals are it really like how he just shaved the bird and it was walking away into the ship wearing it and hear the bird like ah, or someone just very traumatized that was pretty funny. I really did like that. Um, I forgot what the other episode was, but there were there were definitely some good episodes. I think there's like five or six. I could be wrong. The thing that I mainly hate is how Disney Plus performed this series. It wasn't like one section and it didn't have like multiple like episodes you could click to watch. You had to scouter Disney Plus to find them and pray to God you got them in the right order. Because I could be messing this up. I mean, I guess I totally get why they're doing that. There really might not really be a Pacific order out there. But honestly, who knows? The last episode I really liked. Now, I saw that episode get leaked for me on YouTube. My friend who's a big Marvel guy, who knows about the leaks and stuff, send it to me. So I really thank you enough. That was, it was pretty fun watching that. <laughs> But my favorite episode is how he's like how he's like surfing in the soap on Drax's soap, and then he causes this big explosion, and Rocket's like, "Groot, Groot, are you dead?" And I was, he's like, "Oh no, you're right there." And that was, dude, I laughed so hard at that. I just love Rack Rocket Raccoon's personality. He is like fucking great. I love Rocket Raccoon so much. He's he's so great. It ended up happening too. I don't know. That episode was just too fucking funny and shit. He's like, "Oh, you made a photo after we're gonna put this in the fridge and stuff." He make a photo. He's like, "Wait, is that a piece of my?" <laughs> Tail, piece of my fur and stuff. It almost sucked um, Rocket Raccoon out of the ship, but Groot caught him, thankfully. And he was like, oh my god, or this and that. And I ended up there. And honestly, that was really funny. I had to play back that part of Rocket Raccoon. Like, Groot, are you dead? All serious. And he's like, oh no, you're right there. Just, that was really funny. I did really enjoy that. Extremely funny to me. I really did love that. And yeah, basically, that was sort of it from what I remember from I Am Groot. Um, the show was overall... It was really enjoyable. It's not aimed for adults like a lot of like who like a lot of like com who like a lot of like serious Marvel films. This isn't a serious film. This is ma mainly entertained or performed to the kids because knowing me, I laugh at almost everything. I'm not going to I'm not going to play no games or not because I'm I laughed at everything that Thor said in Thor Love and Thunder. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, it was too much comedy, this and that. They did it towards the kids and shit like that. But you already know Quantumania is gonna be a very serious film. So pretty excited for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm just pointing that out there. That's basically how I felt 
about I Am Groot. I really did like it. It was very, there was a lot of jokes, a lot of funny stuff I liked. My dad was actually with me watching it. So he actually, he did find it sort of, he didn't really laugh at that. He just sort of like was confused about it and stuff, which I totally understand because he's an adult and mainly kids like find Marvel funny because that's what the general audience is nowadays. That's my review on I Am Groot. I'd give it a solid like, give it like a seven out of 10. I really liked it. The graphics were great. Storyline, the jokes, the comedy were really funny. I did really like that. I thought that was a really good um, Disney Plus short for Marvel. And I'm very excited to finally wait till She-Hulk drops because that's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, that's my episode of Pop Free. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Now guys, have a good day. Peace.